Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. So I thought I'd do a full video on room renovation. So I'm hoping to get my room done. This tiny box room has been my room for 20 years. Well, about 18, obviously I moved to uni. So let's sit down for a sec. So I'm wanting to redo it into like a dress. Whoa, that's lighting, isn't it? I'm wanting to redo it into kind of like a dressing room slash um, YouTube room so I can do like sit down videos a bit more nicely. It is a small space but we're going to get rid of all the stuff in here like the bed, the wardrobe. I'll show you around. I need to do one of these videos that they do and then you do like the before and after thing. So this is the room. We'll do it like this. I'll take you around and show you different parts. So we have this mirror that I am thinking of getting rid of because it doesn't go with the new aesthetic of the room, which I absolutely love, so we'll probably sell that. Um, I have all my pictures on the wall that need to come down, so that's the task I'm doing today. I do actually love this wall, but they're all so old, they're actually flaking off the wall because of the blue tack, so they need to come down. I've got their lights that need to come off as well. I don't think I'll be keeping them up. I can get rid of the TV. There'll be a new lamp. Uh, lamp? A new curtain. Um... We've got this chest of drawers, which I don't know what's going to happen with that. And then this wardrobe we're going to get rid of. I want a bigger mirror and probably get rid of them off the wall. So that's the plan. So today's task is to get all these pictures off the wall. And I thought I would show you me doing that. So that's the first step of doing this. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, that is done. We've kind of left this lovely pattern of blue tack on the wall, so I'm now gonna have to go over that. Probably won't show you that because that is ridiculous, but I kind of like a spotty wall, it's kind of cute. Do I want wallpaper on that wall? No. So, let me tell you about the vibe. So, I'm wanting to get rid of the bed and have just like a little futon that can pull out into a bed. And I want this to be like a dressing room, so I'll have like a mirror on the wall, a little floating shelf desk here. I want a big large mirror down this wall, and then Maz's area will be over there. So I don't know whether to keep this, I might keep this plain. And I don't want to spend lots of money, because we're probably gonna buy like quite a bit of furniture, like the mirrors and the futon. But I want to keep it like very white, very plain, and then I can always change it up with, um, with photos and frames and stuff so i'm thinking that's the plan so far but now i need to get this blue tack down so i'll show you when that's done you don't need to see a time lapse of that do you really it's a bit boring but that's the vision so far i'll show you my pinterest board as well of everything that i'm kind of collecting and putting together and you'll have to tell me what you think it is the next day about four o'clock i've still got all the who's ringing Still got all the blue tacks to take off them, but I'm actually going to clean my wardrobe out now so that can get taken out of the room. So that's what we're going to do. I have actually um, emptied my wardrobe, like got rid of stuff I just don't wear anymore. Yeah. So I'll show you how it looks. So this is how it looks so far because I've got everything out of it. So it's like got rid of most things that I don't wear. These are like um, 15th. I wore this for my 15th. It's a tangled dress that my mum made. Need to get a nice... Um, shoe rack to keep all the shoes i'm going to empty this now but it shouldn't take long because it's not really that much to do and then we're going to get rid of this wardrobe i'm going to try and sell it going to paint it and sell it so that's the plan right now okay let's get rid of everything And just like that, here is an empty wardrobe ready to move. Obviously, I need to get a few things off the top. But that is that complete. Another job done for today. Wardrobe is out. It's looking bigger already. Cool. Loads of room now. It's going to look so much bigger with less furniture in it. Love. 
I'm just gonna start hoovering because there's a lot of dust that's just come out of there. Mm. Hello everyone, so it's been a couple of days. I'll show you the progress on the room. So basically we've decided we wanna put a new floor down. So we've got one ordered. So we've got to take off the skirting boards. We've pulled everything out of the room. We're to just paint and be fresh. Okay, so here's the room. Someone's phone's going off. So here's the room. Absolutely everything is gone out of it. That's why it's echoey. It feels so much bigger already. Um, you can see one of my old wallpapers from when I was younger. Mm, cute. Good queen. Um, we've sanded down bits of the wall. I'm gonna paint all the walls white. I'm gonna start with this wall, which is gonna be grey. Just to add a little bit of colour into it. And we're gonna actually get a grey floor also, just so, because this floor's a bit tatty now. So we've bought a nice new grey floor to go down. But today is painting this wall grey and then the ceiling white. And the reason we're doing the grey wall first is so, I don't want to hold that. Thanks, Angel. You bring that out for us. Are you coming to paint? I am. That's nice. Um, the reason we're doing the grey wall first is because then it'll feel like we've done something, whereas if we just paint a oh, ceiling white, that's already white, it's going to feel like we haven't done anything. So doing that, and great. then the ceilings, hopefully both of them will be done. Today, would you like a little time lapse? Because that would be so fun. When are you doing the ceiling? After this. Straight after this? Yeah. Oh, I'll get you a white pen then. Gracias. Yeah. Then you're down Cool. Let the games begin. We're back on. Welcome back to room renovation. So this is the room so far. Um, I have had stuff in it, so we've just emptied it all. And me and Jam are about to start painting the skirting boards before we can put the desk and the mirror up in here either today or tomorrow. So we're just going to paint the skirting boards and then it's all about painting. No, all about decoration and that's the best part. So let's get on with it. I, I just want this room done now. Like. It's been literal months now because of COVID, but let's get going. room has arrived. I shall show you. Here's the big reveal. Mm, it's huge. Whoa. And I bought this today. This is Poppy. I'm just going to live in that. Whoa. Bless ya. So Poppy's going to live in that. I think she's going to look really cute. But we're going to build the desk. Aren't we look? By we, I mean probably you. Yeah. 
that was it. Now we just flip it, like, okay, well. Okay. And here is, is this on? Yeah. And here is the table. I think I'm zoomed in. I'm zoomed in. Yeah. Here is the table. I think I want it, I don't know where I want it on the wall. Like, does it need to be more over that way? I don't know. It's this lovely blonde oak. Cuteness. That's about right, isn't it? Nice. Now the next thing I'm gonna do in the room is I'm actually going to put Poppy into this wicker basket to look super cute. So, what we're gonna do is just go down. Yeah. Please can you help? Just need you to get the plate underneath. Okay. Or I can get the plate whichever way. You can't pick plants up like. Oh. Does that look cute? Yeah. In the last week. Where's that going? Well, it was going to go kind of here, but the desk's bigger than I thought. How cute does that look? So, like, tropical vibes. I, I think that's going to have to go here. Yeah, I do. That's okay. Are you having a full length mirror as well? Mm, I don't know yet. <laughs> it could go here. It's a bit big. Cute. So walk in, makeup desk and chair are here, crepe up there. Bob's your uncle. Who is? Fanny's your aunt. No, she's not. Room renovation update. Me and my pap are about to put the mirror. There's a mark on the wall. There. Me and my pap are about to put the mirror up to com well not complete but to get this section underway. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see the pieces come together. I don't know if you've seen the chair. Got a chair yesterday, assembled that. Can we see the vibe? Here's Poppy. Poppy is our new plant. She's cute. She's kind of big, but that's okay. Hello. So it is now the, nearly the end of July. And this room has taken forever. I can, you can kind of see things. You've seen things in videos. But I still want to get like the renovation going. So I haven't got my bed yet. But I'm going to put the pictures up on the wall. Because they need putting up. So... I have bought some Desino prints. Now I'm going to lie, these, was that English? Now I'm not going to lie, these were not cheap. Um, but there's always, my sister said, never buy them full price because there's always sales on, there's always codes. So I actually got these with Lydia, Lydia's discount code, which brought it down to £88. <laughs> also bought some frames so you can actually get the frames like cheap other places but i'm just too lazy so let's open this please remove protection film how do i do that Ooh, what's that burnt burnt something Ooh. Oh, it smells Beautiful. So here's the first print. It's a girl in a sun hat, but I think it looks like me, so that's why I chose it. If I had my hair like this, so that could be me. So let's get it in the frame. Right. So I think I have to remove something off of this. I think there's film on both sides of it. Yeah, but you shouldn't be scratching it against pieces of metal. So while my dad's doing that, I'll show you the other print and then you can see them on the wall. And here is the second print, tassels. So I've actually got tassels on my blanket, which I'll show you in a minute because that's a new thing I've bought. So I'll show you everything in a hot second. We're just in a bit of a mess at the moment. Mm.
everyone. So this is present day Emma in 2020. What day are we on? I think it's like November 18th. So basically this video has been an absolute massive fail. But today's the day I can finally say it's like the most complete it's going to be for a while. So I'm going to like run you through the room. Um, where I've got things from. Like what else needs doing. Because you know when you see these people that do renovations. But they buy everything at once. But obviously like. I don't have the doors to be buying everything at once, so it's kind of been like a very slow process. Obviously, when we first tried to design this room, I don't know if you noticed, but we did actually go into a pandemic. So like we couldn't get all the materials we wanted, we couldn't buy everything that we wanted for the room. So this has been a very slow process, but I'm happy with how it is at the moment. Um, so as I said, I'll run you through what I'm thinking of doing with it, like the um, plans. And I think this is as like as done as it's gonna get. Oh, sorry, I just really need to do something with my hair because it's looking gross. Um, but yeah, I just thought, you know what? Now's probably the perfect time. Um, I'll keep buying stuff and obviously keep you updated. And I feel like you've seen half the room anyways in the vlog. So I thought, you know what? Let's just get this video wrapped up, and hopefully you are gonna enjoy the end results. So let me know what you think. So here is the after result of the room, here we are. So let me do a little run around. So here you'll have seen this now, this is how the room looks from the mirror and I'm absolutely happy with the result. Obviously this bush is slightly too big so I think this is actually going to be leaving the room and getting a small one but it's fine for now. You've seen me put the lights in it. Um, but yeah, I've got this wicker chair. I think this is from Wayfair or Mayfair or something. Um, I've got that. The mirror is from Dunelm. I think it's about £99, which is pretty good for a mirror. Um, this was actually from Home Sense, And I just saw all my lipsticks in that. As you can see, there's some missing. I've got some Kilner jars for my brushes. I'm just pretending to be healthy there. Um, so there's actually two drawers in this. You do it like this. That's just a bit of grease I've got on it. Um, yeah, you actually press them in. So this is my side and I got these also from, I think these were from B&M. So this is all my um, like moisturisers, serums and primers. This is like base makeup. So we've got foundation, our oh, primers is meant to be in there. We've got concealers, we've got brow stuff. This is blusher highlight powder. And then this is kind of like a miscellaneous one, like that should be in there. Oh, that should be there. I didn't tidy up very well. Um, but yeah, that's just got like miscellaneous items in there. Like candles and just stuff that I've kind of pulled off my desk. But also it's got eyeshadows in there. And then I won't show you the other drawer that's kind of Maz's drawer. Um, and then I normally have a jug here but the flowers have just gone dead. So I've just kind of decorated with a few Yankee candles and my bag. Um, we've got this, I think that bag is also from Dunelm, but also underneath here I've got like a similar bag which has all like hair products in it, um, like hair dryers, not like multiple but it's got a hair dryer, it's got straighteners, it's got like um, heat protection spray, stuff like that, so that's in there. Here is the picture that James got me, I'll have to get him to tell me what, is it wonky? There we go. I'll have to get him to tell me where this is from. But this is actually where we lived in Leeds. This is our first house. So we actually lived right here. On this square. And I absolutely love it. And the plan with that is to get one everywhere we kind of rent or live. And then we can have like a white wall with all of them in black and white on them. Next we're going to move over to the curtain. Maz actually made this curtain for me and it drops all the way to the floor. And then I've kind of just decorated with, I've got like some old Polaroids of me and Jam of us. That's it, us in our first house in Queen Square and that's us in London. These are both from 2018. Um, I've got a card from B from when I finished uni so that was really nice. And then I've just got my Adidas Jewels box. These are actually books that I make with like pictures, so like picture books. Obviously I'd love like the prouder ones and stuff that um, influencers get, but obviously we don't have that kind of dollar and I've just kind of stuck a candle on there just to kind of dress up the window a bit. Then we move around to here and you'll have seen these lots by now. These are from Decino, is it called? 
um, and this was like the vibe like beach vibe so we're gonna move on to the newest edition and it is the day bed this is what my dad's made today so it's literally just planks of wood i kind of like that it's got like the writing on it still planks of wood and he's um like put that together the only thing i'd say about this is obviously i want cushions this cushion is not staying here this i actually got this off my uni friends in first year so that's just there and obviously we've just done like an arrangement of pillows on there but i would prefer for this to be white to have um like white cushions on here to so then go with like the um hessian kind of beach vibe so just pretend that grey is white then I can't remember where I got this from I think it goes from H&M Home and this is to like match in with the tassels on here so I definitely want this white so just envision that and then this is literally just a little table from downstairs just one that we had and then this is actually a mini version of this so I would like to get a mini wicker basket around that if I could and um, maybe get like a nice coaster to go on there but it's perfect level with the bed so it just keeps everything nice and low and it makes the room look so much bigger like the plant's probably just a bit too big but that is the room essentially complete so things i want to change is i want that to be white maybe get a few like cushions to match this beige um and actually that's probably about it i'm pretty happy with it as like a little kind of day bed room filming room but i'm so happy that it's done can we just look at the desk area again because it's pretty fantastic like look at this beautiful um but yeah the room is finally at a kind of completing point it was the bed that was the last thing like as you've seen in vlogs and videos and stuff like the bed the mattress has just been on the floor so today my dad was like right i'm just gonna make a bed so i'm so super happy with this room this has been a long time coming you have even known but i started filming this ages ago like literally the, well at the start of lockdown so it'll have been march when i started filming um but it's just been one of those things that's just kind of took a back burner. But I'm happy where it's at now. Now there's a bed in here. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this like little renovation. I mean, I don't know how much footage there actually is. Like, that's how long it's been. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday at 6pm. So make sure to come along and join if you have enjoyed. And I will see you soon with another vid. Bye.